Now that we have the workstation filled with tool cleaner to the proper level, let's see how easy and effective Surface All Tool Cleaner is at removing resin from our tools. We'll use a standard quick release laminating roller. This one is white plastic to better highlight how clean the roller truly is. If possible, always use quick release rollers. First, we fully saturate the roller and roll it across the grid plate quickly. This motion helps clean the roller faster and more effectively. When you have gelling resin, just give it a couple of pushes through with the brush to help remove it. To finish the cleaning, shake off the excess cleaner from the roller into the workstation. The small amount of residue that remains on the roller will not interfere with the polymerization of the resin. However, you do want to avoid getting excess amounts of tool cleaner into the laminate that could displace the resin, so try not to drip it in the laminate. Now we will demonstrate again. We take a fully saturated roller, quickly run it across the grid plate, through the brushes if necessary, and then shake off the excess resin into the workstation. Your roller is now ready to laminate with and not sticky like you'll get with acetone. Now you can clearly see that Surface All Tool Cleaner quickly removed the resin from the saturated roller, just as fast and easy as acetone would have, and there's no sticky residue. If you're not going back to work with the roller, we highly recommend that you do not store it in the workstation. It will interfere with the next person trying to clean their rollers and soaking of the tools is absolutely unnecessary. If you're using a quick release roller, take the head off and set it aside. Next we'll demonstrate cleaning a standard 4 inch chip brush. Let's fully saturate it with resin first. Now let's remove the excess resin before cleaning it in the workstation on a piece of cardboard. With the excess resin removed, brush it across the grid plate rapidly to help remove all the resin from the bristles. Shake out the excess tool cleaner into the workstation. Now hold the bristles on the top of the workstation like this and push out the excess tool cleaner back into the workstation. Give it a final few shakes into the workstation and you are now ready to go back to work again. Clearly just as quickly as you can do with acetone except it's cleaner. And last we'll demonstrate cleaning scissors. We will dip the scissors in resin and get them completely saturated. First push it through the brushes and then rub off the excess resin. Then shake off the excess tool cleaner back into the workstation and that is all that's necessary to work again without being sticky or any fibers being left on the surface. From our demonstration, it's easy to see how quickly you can wash your tools in the Surface Solve Tool Cleaner. As you use Surface Solve, you will also find that the tools stay cleaner longer and are easier to use. They do not become sticky after cleaning like you get with acetone because it flashes off so quickly leaving residue behind and over time, old resin will begin to release off scissors, rollers, and other tools.